Hey, here we go. So, yeah, so let's take a look at the hospital. Oh, by the way, I wanted to do this. Armor rating plus one. Now we look like uh, it's cold outside, like a very heavy jacket. Let's see what that did. Gave us defense three, bashing, soak two, and lethal one. <coughs> and we need 13 more points. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save here. Okay. And I feel like exploring the abandoned hospital here. Bladed weapons are as deadly to vampires as they are to humans. What was that sound? Slow down, what's coming? Who are you? My crew, my crew, we, we were here shooting for my show. Parapsychologist, 100 LA, oh, oh God, was right behind me. Let's get out of here. What's behind you? Look, uh, we, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if this, that's all bullshit. We were sitting up downstairs, we had shit started happening. My crew was disappearing. I don't know what's happening. Wait here, I'll go see if I can find some. No, no, don't go down there. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Hmm, <laughs> he's almost mad. What could that be? Oops. Something's flying. Looks someone needed that at a different time when this hotel a uh, hospital rather was so intact there's a, a vent there's nothing in here hmm there's a computer running, which is odd, and we see did see someone die on the screen. Well, since this seems the only seems to be the only way, <laughs> let's go here then. Oh, this is a room with a computer. Well, this level is a little different, you might have noticed from the other levels. There seems to be a w way there. Um, you don't know what's going on, and it's all not accessible. But if you look a little closer, you can find a way. <coughs> another screen. And an another one. Dying. Right when we come along. almost like a haunted house that you walk through, right? Is there anything here? Morphine bottle. Well, that's not really strange in a hospital. Someone could have left that there. Look at this. Yeah, if you uh, look at the screens, if you did get to look at them, closely you see the blood splatter here and so you can see where we're going 
is actually where those guys were when they were dying. Just to scream, but no one here. Blood everywhere. Now we're at the very ground level here on the raw cement on the very bottom of the building here. <laughs> I like that effect. Who's killing those people? That film crew, those film crew guys. I think we will have our answer very soon. That's safe, just for fun. A woman there and corpses and this is the door we were where we saw the guy dying on the other side spider webs did real you terror is not the sight of death did you it is see the where she death. bit him what is the fear of death Terror of mouse. the unknown. Is it these eyes? It is, indeed. No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. I love her tribal. I don't know what it is. Tattoos, maybe. So she's a little philosophical. And eyes, by the way. Look at those eyes. They're like diamonds like very very shiny that's not a normal color color at all um. what are you drinking blood to sustain your death you are damned yes what if besides the blood of the living you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life what would you call it twice damned so yeah, like you can see, it's all very bloody, the way she feasts on hu on human humans, and she's uh, kind of, sort of a vampire, but not quite. You have to eat human flesh? We drink blood, I eat flesh, kind eat food, but kind think us a monster. Without remorse, they would burn our body twice over to be certain we were destroyed. What is unnatural for some is vital for others. Hmm, so you have the option to fight he her here. If you look at three unnatural yes, and that's why I'm putting you down. She will s summon zombies. She can resurrect resurrect uh, corpses. She's a uh, necromancer of some sorts. I don't understand. I kill or I rot. For every night I go without it, I wilt. All things must consume life to avoid dying. You and I are no exception. I don't know if I agree. Who are you anyway? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. 
So these vampires, they are, th her clan is called Nagaraja, and they are flesh eaters. They originate in India, I think, and um, <coughs> like I've said, they uh, they know necromantic rituals. Part of one of them is, I think, you can replace your own um, organs, like y you can replace your eyes with one eye of a dead person and um, yeah it gives the special abilities special disciplines and s such things and of course you can as a uh, with necromancy you can um, there are different parts like uh, with blood magic thaumaturgy and um, you can yeah, the, the there's also a lot of variety w with necromancy, and um, there's there's also s like you can have a, an aura uh, when you have it active. All the things around you, like wither and go broke, and well, it's basically death you're spreading. It's quite quite interesting, the whole background of the less popular clans and this clan in particular I find interesting Nagaraja. They are in a sense the same as vampires but they actually have to kill the mortals in order to survive because they have to consume like pounds and pounds of flesh. It's very gory. While the, the normal vampire thing is just being a parasite and letting your host live, right? Um, why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. She's also very pretty. I like the whole outfit and painting on the face and on the arm as well of her. That's very cool. Um, he'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. So she's trying to uphold the masquerade here. Even though she uses different terms, I guess. Um, so yeah, we are not going to fight her, by the way. We are going... It, we will be trying to trade this one. Um, who am I to argue with a flesh-eating monster? Uh, are you going to eat him? Yeah, of course she is. That is quite obvious. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. Oh, she doesn't even say bye. She just says nothing. Look at, look at her dress. Quite, quite impressive. And yeah, a lot of death and carnage around her. I also like the ponytail. <laughs> well, we can go up here. Shortcut. And we should be back at the entrance. And the guy is gone. But there's a business card lying on the floor. <coughs> Let's see what it says. Your bulging wallet makes you the undead Rockefeller. Nice. This is a business card for Haunted LA. The name on the card is Simon Milligan. The address listed is Skyline Apartments, Apartment 1, 
downtown Los Angeles, Cali. So we have a lot of stuff in uh, the Skyline Apartments right now. And we also, this is the main quest, Elizabeth Stane. Because, you know, LaCroix uh, told us to do it. Um, yeah, Skyline Apartments. And Skyline Apartments. And so, uh, Skeletor's attention. Where is uh, the damsel quest? Skyline Apartments as well. A lot of stuff there. So we won't go back to tell her, tell her that she's uh, that he's gone, but since the uh, belly to us anyway. But we will just. Uh, so there are a lot of in cla clans, independent and. Uh, well, no, uh, clans was not that many vampires. Like the Nagaraja have a very low population because they are haunted, uh, hunted in a lot of places and not not welcome. So they kind of try to avoid other vampires. And we will get to know some other. Uh, clans which are independent later. Partner, let's do, let's talk to a partner here for a second. Um, I wanted to sell this. Um, yeah, even though this is quite lethal, I will sell this as well. So, I think we sold everything. Uh, a safe. And now, I... We will go and look for Patty. Scatter wants to make Patty disappear. She's the ghoul who's been bugging everyone about her master and will believe them when they tell her is dead. Not only is she getting tiresome, Skelter's concerned, masquerade, we also need that because there are already hunters uh, hunting for us. She can usually be found um, whining at the club confession, so this is a club, to anyone unfortunate enough to talk to her. <laughs> this is also a really cool location for a club if you ask me. Look at the lighting. That's great. Let's go in there. Confession. The name, by the way. But sadly, there will be music inside, and you know the deal. You know the drill. Um. Nice night out, huh? Whatever. We're full on blood, so we don't need to suck on anybody here. Let me change the audio. Like this. And let me take a sip of my root beer here. Ah, I love that stuff. Okay, dancing people. This is locked. There's a woman standing there. There's a woman that we can talk to. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to see if your voice was uh, as angelic as you. It is. You are. Look at the color of her eyes. It's pink as well. Weird. Maybe some contact lenses. I like your cans. <laughs> I love the subtlety of that. Um, so, who are you? Ah, call me DJ. Cause I speak with my hands. 
<laughs> I'm working on modesty. Crazy. Uh, I don't look familiar. Don't watch a lot of porn, do you? I like all of those answers. Mm, someone who wants to know all about you. Let's go with that one. Uh, let me show you a trick I picked up recently. Well, just for the taste. Is there any uh, anyone else here? We can show you. Look at this, these medieval carpets or whatever they are. This is really like the inside of a church, right? Yeah, right back at you. Sure. We cannot enter there. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Two more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess, and it's time to confess. Quite the cleavage. Uh, who are you? Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? Hmm. That warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica? That was me. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's gotten a little out of hand, and I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intrigued yet? She has pink eyes as well. Since the minute you started moving your lips. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. A couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. I'll do it. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priestess. Later die. So where's the confession booth? Back in a minute. So, she actually gave us a new quest. She's got a butterfly on her hips. <coughs> That I voice. Swear, you were all like totally drawn that angelic to voice. I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Parties, huh? You're into parties. Mm -hmm. Vampires, huh? No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously. Everyone there you go. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. She speaks very slow. Um, so she's petty and she needs to be dealt with because she's breaking the masquerade. Like a certain someone also did two times. But we won't talk about that, right? So she's a ghoul. You know, I always find that the whole vampire thing, you know, this whole Twilight story thing, they kind of make me wonder. I, I will try to tell you about it in a second after we finish with Pat Patty here. Um, she wanted to ask if I've seen something. Who is this lucky someone? His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. Hmm, all Prada, huh? Great. I do know him, I saw him recently. You are totally awesome. <laughs> now it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool or have a lot of power to be a cool person. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. the, sad the sad thing is that people like this actually do exist, right? Not that many, but enough, if you ask me. 
<laughs> yeah. We don't dress cool and we don't have any power. And at let's go with one. At the bottom of the abandoned hospital. He's planning planning a rave there. Oh that is totally can't be so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Just going down there. Here we're looking for you. So we have lost we've basically traded in hum one point in humanity. <coughs> Four points in masquerade. Um but yeah, we can get humanity back as well. Uh, during other missions. See? Projected the masquerades by dealing with Patty. Oh, maybe I was wrong. The masquerade violation actually stays. Oh boy. <laughs> no, we can get back masquerade. Oh well. evening. That's a bummer. Whatever. Okay. So we sent her to Pisha, the Nagaraja, and we know what will happen to her there. So the quest log will now probably tell us to go to Skelter? Helter? Something like that. Mm, you have solved the petty problem, report back to Skelter. Let's do that for a second. We also need to go to the Skyline Apartments, of course. And we also need to meet some Russians for Venus. Yeah, Twilight. So what I wanted to say is... Uh, man, that lag. Um, if you think about it, there's only re really one options for lovers uh, if one part of them is human, usually the, the uh, woman, of course. That's a nice dress that's flying there. Because all those romance, vampire romance stories usually are written with women as the main audience in mind, I guess. Um, so, yeah, there's only one option, and that is to uh, make her a vampire as well, right? I mean, what I mean, what I'm kind of missing in those stories are the parts where the human, the female just decides to stay human and the male vampire just doesn't age and yeah well you will ha end up with uh, granny in a retirement uh, home still in love with that young handsome guy that's a bit weird right so, yeah, they never talk about that part in all the romance novels. Um, what's, what's with the audio? I think it's still turned down. Right, yes. So let's, let's turn in that, yeah, give that quest back. What did you just say? Nothing. I took care of the petty problem. Oh, ghouls are nothing but trouble. Right. Uh, I'm almost down with the Anna Corsia. So, not wrong. You do get points back. That's good. I don't didn't remember remember to that the game needed me to be so careful which is a good thing we can stroll through the game leisurely here uh, audio right uh, 
Okay. So that was petty. Yeah. I mean, that part, that's a movie I want to see. Like, granny, granny, human lover with vampire dude. Dude. I mean, maybe there's an audience for that. I don't know. Probably. Uh, what are we going to do now? Skyline apartments? Not yet, but I wanna... I wanna meet those Russian guys. What did Venus say? Where they... Where... Um, confession. Parking lot, Empire Arms Hotel. That should be... Somewhere around here. This guy is everywhere, the crap nibble guy. Hmm. Man, I gotta sneeze. Empire Arms, that would be here. This is the Nocturne Theater. This is interesting as well. Collide. Some kind of strange. This looks fancy. Some crests. And there's the parking lot. Can I talk to you? <sighs> I can hey, talk to you, but day. we both know what you want. And I'm not going to give it to you. Those are the Russian guys. Let me save you. They look lovely. Fashion bitch send you. <laughs> so this is probably <laughs> one of my favorite lines in the whole game. I mean, it's so simple. But he like has trouble speaking English, clearly. Like like I have, I'm not perfect perfect at, at English as well, but he knows all the important words mm. and he mm. He still manages to, to, to sneak an in insult in there. So that's basically like the third most important thing you learn, right? You learn the first things you learn in the language are uh, hello, goodbye and stuff. And then you learn maybe love, the word for love. And at the third place there are all the insults, all the cuss words and whatever. <laughs> so this light is just great. I don't know what it is, what it is about this lead line, but I don't know the tone and everything. It just gets me. It's, it's so funny. Confession, bit bitch sent you. So direct, so simple and perfect to the point. I love it. That she did. Money. Where is money? Money, money. <laughs> it's so so frank and open. <laughs> it's great. Up your mother ass. You die. You die. Two words. And all is said that needs to be said. Again. Hey. Holy shit. Police is shooting at me. No. Those are just the Russian guys. This is the war zone now. I could like use protein. But let's just uh, use, use fortitude instead. Hmm. I'm not seeing a uh, uh, meter there on the discipline. It just sta sta stays empty. I don't know what's going on there. That was a little too close for comfort. Um, 
I didn't want to make it that uh, intense. Yeah, quite tough. Tough Russian. Tough Russians. So let's save. Since this is out of the way. There's a painted on door, which we cannot enter. All of them are. So let's get go back to Venus and tell her tell her how it all went. There's a guy running away there at the end of the street. Oh, right, music. Man, there are way too many clubs in this game. I mean, I love it when I play it, just no normal, and I'm not recording it. There should be even more clubs, but <laughs> yeah, not really. But now it's not a good thing. this what? passed on your message I can't hear you let's talk in my office okay oh mm, this looks in interesting you can he see here that we are upstairs, you know. Uh, a lot of the furniture has been reused. A lot of the models, 3D models. That's a, it's a pity, it's a shame, but I mean, it's not that bad, but you know, I, I wonder if they would redo this whole game or maybe even better do a second part. I know the company is gone, but if someone would pick it up uh, and I don't know would make a <coughs> a game uh, in the same spirit of this one but with more staff and ma more people that would be really great man well you certainly did better than my bouncer did poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore <laughs> already had a call from Boris wasn't too happy about tonight son of a bitch say would you like to get into that business for me Hmm, sure, why not? Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. Uh, good as done. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out-sneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. Be back when he's no longer breathing. So another mission from Venus here. You can just jump down here. Um, we could Oh boy, that was not what I wanted to do. Criminal violation. Oh well. Do I have to hide now? What's the hops, bro? Probably, huh? Hello? Police? Oh yeah. There they are. Oh well. I could go down the sewers but I don't really need to. Um, hmm. What do I want to do next by the way? 
Oh yeah, Boris Necromantic. Oh right, Skyline Apartments. A whole lot of hotel stuff, I guess. And the Elizabeth Day. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, six humanity, that's alright. Mm. Let's try and do the Elizabeth Dane mission. If they let us. Hello, police? Anywhere? They're not even looking. I remember this differently. I don't know. Maybe it's a patch. But usually th you hear that heavy breathing and... Oh, yeah, maybe it's because it happened inside there and not on the streets. So, you know, checking the streets. But it's more like symbolic that the car is there waiting for, Going some way. for us at the club. Drive, I'll tell you when we're there. Santa Monica Beach. Yeah, let's... Lovely evening. Hello, officer. Lovely evening indeed. <laughs> um, let's make that a separate video, shall we? See ya.